The opening phase is all about controlling the center and developing your pieces with a plan. Every move you make should be doing one of those two things. The middle game will then arise out of the opening. Many beginning chess players are fascinated with the opening because of the many exciting traps, gambits, and names. But in reality, you're better off not spending time memorizing openings, but instead understanding opening principles and then practicing your middle game and end game. That said, openings are fun and it's great to learn a few because they teach you how to understand how to think about the first moves of your game. Let's take a look at some of White's most popular openings after E4. After E4, Black's most solid and straightforward response is E5. And after the typical Knight F3 and Knight C6, we're going to study three of White's most popular opening choices. The first opening begins with the move Bishop to C4. This is known as the Italian game, or Gioco Piano, the quiet game. It is one of the most classical openings in chess. White develops the bishop to an open diagonal, placing pressure on Black's weak square on f7. White is ready to castle and bring the other pieces toward the center. Black often responds with bishop to c5. Using the same ideas as White, this opening isn't as fast-paced as other openings that we'll study, but it is a solid way to develop your pieces to good squares and prepare for the middle game. After bishop to b5, this opening is known as the Rui Lopez. It is considered more aggressive than the Italian game because white continues the attack on the e5 pawn by putting pressure on its defender, the knight on c6. Black's most popular option is the strange-looking a6. Provoking white to capture the knight. Isn't that exactly what white wants to do? It turns out that white cannot win the pawn on e5 right away, so black attacks white's bishop. If white tries to win the pawn with bishop takes c6, black recaptures with the d-pawn, clearing open the diagonal for the light-squared bishop and also opening the d-file for black's queen. After knight takes e5, black has the powerful move queen to d4. Black moves the queen to d4, creating a double attack on the knight on e5 and pawn on e4. After white brings the knight to safety with knight f3, black plays queen takes e4 check. Black now regains the pawn with a good game. Since taking black's knight does not win a pawn, White usually plays bishop a4, keeping the pressure on the knight on c6, and if black attacks the bishop again with b5, white plays bishop to b3, entering the active a2 to g8 diagonal, focusing on the weak f7 square. The last of the three common white openings begins after d4. White advances a second pawn into the center, placing pressure on black's e5 pawn and opening up lines for the queen and dark squared bishop. This opening is known as the scotch opening. It is an aggressive opening that puts pressure on black's center right from the beginning of the game. Black should capture the pawn immediately with e takes d4, but sometimes black plays d6. This move allows white to open up the d-file with d takes e5. If black captures with the knight first with knight takes e5, White opens up the d-file after knight takes e5, d takes e5, and now that the d-file is open, white can trade queens with queen takes d8 check. After king takes d8, black's king loses the right to castle and is stuck in the middle of the board. After d takes e5, the d-file has once again opened and white trades queens with queen takes d8 check. Black has a tough choice to make. Black can either capture the queen with knight takes d8, giving up protection of the pawn on e5 and losing it after knight takes e5, or black can play king takes d8, losing the right to castle. Black's king is stuck in the middle of the board and will become a target of attack on the open d-file. This is why black should play e takes d4. And after white plays knight takes d4, both sides have a file that has been opened, the D file for white and the E file for black. This means the game may open up quickly where both sides will have attacking chances. 
After bishop to c5, black develops a piece and adds a second attacker on white's knight on d4. White plays bishop to e3, developing the bishop toward the center and adding a second defender to the d4 knight. Both sides will focus on completing development, castling, and will prepare for a sharp middle game fight. Now that you've learned some of white's most popular openings after e4, let's test your knowledge in the challenges. <laughs> 